Hi everyone and welcome to this video where we went to a cooking school to have a go at learning and then making our own afternoon tea as part of celebrating the Queen's Platinum Jubilee. For this event we went to the Little Portland Street Cookery School. So for our afternoon tea we had a go at making a lovely Devonshire cream cake. So we're going to make the sponges together. You guys are going to whip the cream. We're going to make lovely chocolate ganache to go over the top. We're going to chill it. Okay. You are also on the sweet front. Going to be making lovely lemon curds tarts. We do the whole thing ourselves: pastry, the curd, the rolling, cutting, baking, filling, the whole shebang. Okay. You are also going to be making a lovely selection of afternoon tea sandwiches. Okay. So we had a group of twelve of us in total, and therefore we split into groups of four, as there were three main tasks to be done. One group was making the sandwiches. Second group was making the scones and the cakes and the third group was making the curds and the jam. So I was on the cake and scones team, and first we started by making the Devonshire cream cake. So the Devonshire cream cake that we got to make was composed of a basic sponge cake with some cream, and we also added a lovely chocolate ganache. So for the cake, we used some eggs, some sugar, some flour, and some salt, and we mix them together. Yeah, I want to see the flour, cut, twist the bowl. Fold, cut, twist the bowl. And to make the chocolate ganache, we used some double cream and some dark chocolate. When the cream was at a scorching point, which is just before the boiling point, we poured the cream over the chocolate, which was in a bowl, and whisked it, and it just looked so good. So with the Devonshire cake mix done, we put it in the baking tins and got cracking with the next step, which was the lemon curd tart. So for the lemon curd tart, we first started by making the short crust pastry, which we used flour, butter, caster sugar and eggs. Lift up the shell, tuck out the shell and pour the egg into your hand. Okay, so the egg white slips through and you catch the egg yolk. Okay, let's see how easy it is. And I'm going to chill that because if we try and use it straight away, it's going to shrink every time you use it. So after the dough had been made, we chilled it before using our fingers to make a tart shape in the moulds and put them for baking. Then we moved on to making the lemon curd, for which we used some eggs, lemon that was grated, some lemon juice, some sugar and some butter. Okay, so next up were the scones, so we made both sweet and savoury ones. For the sweet ones, we also had the instructions on how to make a rhubarb jam, and for the savoury one, we added some herbs and some cheese. So with the scones now ready to go into the oven, we were making the final touches before we could set up the afternoon tea and then enjoy it. So whilst the scones were in the oven, we finished off our lemon curd tarts by putting some of the lemon curd we made into the shortcut pastry that I had now baked. Here are the lovely bread rolls that the other team had made. Here are the two cake pieces that we had made for the Devonshire cream cake. They just look so good. We filled them with cream and then topped it with the lovely chocolate ganache that we had made earlier. And that was it. It was finally time to sit down and enjoy the afternoon tea. This was an incredible experience to make our own afternoon tea from scratch and all of the food tasted so amazing. So thank you so much for watching and I really hope you enjoyed.